27, is that right? Yes. Call Outreach and Communications Subcommittee to order. And Evan is, Evan is absent. We, uh, yeah, Alyssa has gone away because she's not part of our committee, so it's just George and, and Darcy and myself. And then, Jen, are you staying with your dad? Okay, Jen will be here as an other present. Oh, yeah. I forgot that I did that. <laughs> <laughs> the report, a report on action item. But we could discuss that unless we're too tired. Um, we're never too tired, yeah. So, yeah, so I put together a Google po form for counselors in general regarding um, outreach efforts. It's in the folder. The subcommittee? Uh, it is in, where would it be? Would it be? Only you would know. Did you put it, did you stick it in one of the folders? Or you put it in? Reference material, yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah. We might as well just keep it in the reference materials that we have for OFA only because later on. Oh, it's in the wrong, I'm in the wrong email. We have to be in the subcommittee, obviously. Uh, I, I, yeah, there's an outreach I, subcommittee and the first, and there it is. You have to go to the out Outreach Subcommittee folder, and then it's right in there. Oops, is it? Yeah, and then there's a link to it. Is it under the Minutes section? No. Minutes Outreach Subcommittee, under this? Uh, uh, not Minutes, no. Here? Uh, oh, yes, it is. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. No, it's not minutes. No, it's, it's if you go back. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. I can figure out the link. It says for that. form and tap. It's in the outreach subcommittee. So yeah. It's and I think they also have it there. There's a. So it, does this fit right here, Darcy? The outreach form. Yeah. So if you go through. Um, the OCA. And then just look for minutes in the minutes folder for this subcommittee. Mm -hmm. Did you guys find it on the same list? She's not part of it. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yeah. That last one is the usual suspect. Yeah. yeah. Next to the last. No, the uh, have you spoken with local groups regarding town council matters? Because I think you've talked to more groups than anyone no, else. Part of what I was thinking is not putting the minutes in the folder, but what are the folder forms that can be given by town council or the town council? What is the form that needs to be filled out? Mm -hmm. 
so, would you change that question in some way? like a really good thing to do. Yeah, so they would all have access to this form and then when you hit responses, they would get a spreadsheet that would tell what everybody said about each question. And then we'd have all the data. What about events, like events that you attend? I mean, we have like a events. lot of events on our calendar. Yeah, that's a good one to And add. then, like, maybe what, because I'm just thinking, because I think that we're all trying to figure out how to do outreach the best way, and we should kind of archive this, and we also want to try to have counselors, like, after we're gone, counselors can come in. So what are events that people have found, you know, are they helpful? Um, I think one of the things that we talked about with PTOs is do you somehow want to be able to, when you go to an event, like, have a way that, if people are interested in, in certain ways of serving or, um, volunteering, you know, like are we bringing information like that with us? And then also, you know, the, the you know, gathering names, but then, then we'll have to further talk about how, like how those are used. Like when we got names, not for our personal use, <clears throat> but then would they automatically be sent or forwarded to community participation officers, town manager, resident advisory committee? Because we're trying to make that loop. We're trying to keep Right, you know. so I think that if we ask the question, what types of events have you attended or what events have you attended, you know, Lynn, Lynn would have to like write <laughs> 2,000 <laughs> entries on that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, how could we do it in a way, uh, maybe we could categorize them or something, I don't know. Because yeah, I, I think we're looking event. at events in different ways. Like I think one of the one things that the PTOs have brought up to us is, as town councils being on the front line was that, you know, when they go out to certain events, they're, they're, um, one of their goals is to let people know different ways at, at that event even, different ways to participate um, in town government and also to make sure that they're also bringing in some names. So I don't know how we would do that. I'm just putting out that that was something that was brought up. So maybe it's just a way for councils to think about, a different way for councils to think about events. <laughs> you know, I think classifying or categorizing <laughs> events would be useful. Uh, I mean, there's events, for instance, that we are officially representing mm -hmm the town, mm -hmm. okay? For example, when we stand on the town steps on a snowy morning um, for the Tibetan event. Um, and it's, you know, sometimes it's me, but sometimes it's me and three or four other counselors. Um, and then there's other times where, you know, recently a couple of us were invited to attend a student event at the university. And we weren't there in any, quote, official capacity, but we certainly were identified, if you will, as town counselors. We didn't speak, but. So how would you categorize? Well, that? that's, you know, just um, dedicate, att attendance, attendance at, at events, at representing the council versus well, that's a good question. Like it's a very about the fun run, and it was like we thought about what could we be doing, like an event like that. Could we? I'm I'm just posing a question. I'm not saying yay, we should all do this. I, it just it came up that maybe in attending things like that, is it something that we can yeah. actually kind of feel talking in addition to having fun talking to people about this and that. And then right. if names are gathered or someone says, oh, I heard about that. that's so amazing. I would love to do that. Then saying like we would have this name and then it would be protocol where that name. Well, and, and I suppose one of the options could be that I could go through my calendar and say, um, here's the various events that I've done since December 3rd and um, see whether there's a way to categorize them. But 
you know, and then there's times, for instance, where I could not be here right. for the Jones Library 100th anniversary kickoff or the um, Kanagasaki visit. And, so, and then in that case, Mandy Joe represented the council and um, Andy happened to be at least one or two of them. And some of other people may have been there as well. Um, so there's, um, so there's the official ones. And, then, and along with some of those, we're actually asked to read um, various proclamations that we've passed as well. I've got a couple of them coming up just in the next month or two. Um, you know, and then there's other events where we just happen to be invited as counselors. For example, the um, recent uh, Business Innovation Center at Eisenberg. We were just invited as counselors. I think we actually were recognized, as I recall. Um, and there were about six or seven of us there. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, and, and whether or not we're actually promoting participation, I, I'm not clear that I'm always doing that, but I'm certainly representing the town. Now, you know, all of us either have or have coming up, in Pat's, in my case, we have a District 2 meeting coming up. Um, George has, no, uh, you had, you've had at least one. Darcy, you've had more than I can keep count of, and District 1 is the same way. We're actually taking the um, information that the um, participation officers have provided us on how to use, uh, how to sign up for CAFs, and we're actually taking also the information for how to sign up for alerts from the town and um, that kind of thing. So, um, and, I, and then I, and I have mentioned this to a couple of you at different times and maybe even to this group, we do have the hope that in the fall, we have some set of coordinated um, uh, district meetings, um, maybe in a, in a period of like two weeks, where we have as our focus the major capital plan, major capital projects, and what a proposed plan might look like. Um, and in that case, we're gonna ha wanna have very common material mm -hmm. that each of us takes out. And and I, this is where I think we take a lesson from the school committee and the schools, a way for people to get that information if they weren't able to attend, a way to provide feedback on that information if they weren't able to attend or even if they did and they want to say something mm -hmm. later. So using that as an example, uh, I would, dearly embrace this committee uh, looking at what should that look like, what kind of handouts should we have, helping working with the uh, community participation officers in how we're gonna do that. For example, are each of us at each of our district meetings gonna try to have the um, model that Sean Logano's been perfecting available um, will we break into small groups? What are some of the options, okay, that counselors might want to try? And I know, for example, um, Darcy, at your District 5, you had Andy do a dry run with your group. And there was, you know, some positives and some not so good, not, I'm not going to say negative things, but complications in how, and sometimes, and in fact, the model's not quite finished yet, so we know that. Um, Pat and I are going back and forth as to whether we're gonna do that on Wednesday night um, when we also have Andy coming to ours because he also happens to live in District 2. Um, and I, also, I, I do wanna encourage that whenever possible that district, that town-wide counselors be invited to district meetings, mm -hmm. uh, particularly if they're from the district or because they have a specialty like Andy and the case of District 5 was able to help use that model. Um, so there's all kinds of ways to look at it, but I mean, even if you took the focus of, let's start planning now for that September, October, two week district meeting on capital projects, that would be fabulous. Does that help you? 
And this, this is part of the vision of what I had hoped this committee would also deal with, as well as the incredible uh, burden of the appointments that you all had to take on. So we're trying to outreach for some of our state forums. Actually, thank you. In fact, including how do we increase attendance at our town-wide forums? How do we increase attendance at our hearings um, so that we're not sitting there like we were back in March where there's only 16 people in the room and half of them were related to the counselors? Um, So I think that we've all, I see George being completely overwhelmed. I think that if we if we look at what this, because I think the school committee, I agree with Lynn, that they did an amazing job and there was the form that you could send back. I mean, I think we have a skeleton already of things that were very effective. We could even very kindly ask a, you know someone who helped to do that for the school committee to come and talk to us about how they accomplished it so we would have a better idea like IT wise and but we have a skeleton we have people that we can ask about how they did it we also have already staff support and guidelines in place for public forums so I think it would just be a matter of using the information that we have and then and building it up for our particular use so I don't I think it will be a decent amount of work but I don't think it's daunting because I don't think we have to reinvent the wheel so much. I think we do have some really good um, vehicles already for outreach. We just now need to pull them together. I'm a little concerned about the front end as well. There's a monthly rate that the state funds and I'm a volunteer um, in uh, and so if we account for county council Let me clarify on the on the forums and the hearings. Um, they they pretty much are dictated by topic. And for example, as we got ready for the budget one, the town manager came to the finance committee meeting. He talked with us about what would be the content of that, and we have a similar meeting with him when we do the capital one uh, in June. Um, so it, the, it's not really the content, but I do want to mention that we have clarified, and in fact, on the draft agenda for the forum in June, um, we will now have, where the charter is very clear, public comment is to be 50% of the time. What we learned out of that first forum is it would be nice to have an opportunity in this instance for uh, the town manager, the council president or other members of the council or other members of the staff to be able to respond to questions that people ask during the public comment. We are now counting that toward the 50% of public comment so that the public comment period can be more like a dialogue. Uh, there may also, it's also going to be a trial because to be honest, we have to be careful that we're not saying, well, and I think, or in other words, we need to be factual and clear about whatever information we're providing and or just say, you know, we don't have that information. We'll get back to you. I agree with George that it's, you know, going out and handing out posters ourselves or <laughs> doing things like that. That's not our job. I think that we do, like I said, I, you know, the, the CPOs have also already given us things like um, how to um, plan a district meeting, and I had looked at that, and I will bring it again. I don't know if I showed this to you guys last time. I had tweaked it just a little bit, and even just tweaking it a little bit as far as asking for things like a projector, something to use PowerPoint on, um, as far as, um, 
I'm trying to think. Uh, so if you're if you were trying to do something that was a forum or bigger, then you would, in addition to asking for a setup, like setup would be different. You would have to say, you know, to the CPOs, I think that we're going to be expecting 250 people, and we're going to have a panel of people talking. So we would need a, a table or a podium and microphones. So I mean, you're still as as far as I can understand from. The CPOs, these are things that they still want, they have a structure for, they want us to go through them, and we have all of those forms, which I will definitely distribute, but I, th I think that we could follow that form and then have, you know, relevant staff, you know, it's, it's known that this is, relevant staff can do this or that, and then if we bring in the school committee as far as, like, thinking of, of different ways of getting things out, um, I think that we can set up a way that there's, um, will have a structure for how to distribute things on the internet or send to somebody. We could have a, um, a draft of a typical informational letter that could, you could do a little bit of fill in the blank for things if you're, you know, for different meetings of information that you want back for people, like saying, here's what happened, fill in at this, or is going to happen at this finance committee hearing. Um, are there certain things you weren't able to attend, but there are things that you have concerns or want to make comments? Like, I, I think that we can put um, templates mm -hmm. and process. We could nail those down so that it would be easier for us to do and then it would be something that other people could follow after we're gone, is, is my feeling. Right, a person did. Yeah. yeah. So, right, no. So, so this form that we came up with, I think, is incredibly helpful and will be to all of us and to future counselors. I think I don't, I would send, yeah, I would send that also to Lynn if she can't. So we have, once we're done with it, and we, once we feel confident, it should be something that we, you know, send to Lynn that we write a report on. And then, you know, it's possible that Lynn could put it in an agenda so that people understand what it's about, and then we could then start collecting well, that information. Right? No, no, it's, it's more, it's, it, we want to make it as simple as possible, but I think it would also help us as far as outreach goes, know what's working for other people, what hasn't worked for other people, what are, you know, it, it will also, I think, in the long run, at the end of these three years, we will have, uh, some information and process for future counselors for outreach that they can follow, which uh, if we had had that, wow, amazing, right? So I think that's what we're, that's what we're shooting for, for that. So we're, you know, talking about our individual um, outreach, how that's working, how we could help each other. Um, so I, th I sort of hear that from Lynn, is there a way that we can contact each other if we want to have a certain counselor there at our meeting? Um, for district meetings, um, also I know a lot of people have been, I know some neighborhood associations um, have been feeling like they wish they had access at, at some point of district meetings of certain staff, so I think we, I think that we have a process for that, but I want to make sure that we, that we have also the public knows some information on that, so those are things that we can nail down, yeah. Let me um, mention specifically, um, because I, I did have a round of emails with one counselor. It's needless to say, we all know Paul has to be protective of staff time after hours, oh, yeah. and even during hours for that. I mean, they have other jobs. But at the same time, and this is not necessarily, as I speak to the particular other community participation officers, but, you know, to other people. So I think 
it, first of all, we need to be cautious and careful of how we request for staff time and when we're requesting for it. But I think that request needs to be for district meetings. Yes, To start yep. having it be for neighborhood associations or even district associations. There, I mean, we have one district that I think there's probably five neighborhood associations in it, <laughs> and you just can't do that. No, and, and I think that's what I'm saying is that we would we would establish a process in which we clarify, you know, when, when is appropriate for staff to be there and how we as a council deal with that. So I, I'm just saying I, I agree with you. I think we just need to make that process actually written down and clear. Yep, I know we're way over. We need to adjourn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Phyllis, for all your help. Sorry about all the excitement today. Um, <gasps> oh, you need to go. Yeah, and actually, I'm getting picked up at 12:15, so your chair also has to adjourn. Yes, can we come, Phyllis, right behind you? All right. So yeah. Um, so let's let's make it a priority to finish or to Darcy. We can send you individual emails. Obviously, we can't deliberate, but if we have any other suggestions to the form just so that we can be ready because we won't meet next week but we will meet the week after and I and I guess we'll also put on our agenda well no we talked about that because we have to extend because we have to make sure that we OCA decides on its process and that tree and that won't be easy for us and the ECAC so so OCA's meeting but we're not the subcommittee won't so the subcommittee will meet the week after and so I will make sure that I put these action items on the agenda and also, um, Lynn, if you could, if you know, are they just in October? If you could just send me some information because it won't stick in my head, just general things um, about those forums that are coming up or that you wanted to have, um, or is that pretty much it? Basically, I pretty much <laughs> said you everything I <laughs> okay, can so say. Okay, then, um, so then I think something that I'm gonna think about is maybe trying to see about um, contacting and I'll to go through Paul and Lynn, someone from the school committee who or they can tell me who helped them to put together some form. I think Sean can help Sean us with can? that. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So then we'll get that rolling as well. And that being said, if there's not any other discussion. Great. Um, I, I do have a committee question for Sean on that part. Great. Sure yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and I'll worry about it. Fabulous. Later. Yes. Yes, as long as we don't deliberate, but we can take a look-see. Yep. Wonderful. Thank you, George. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Wonderful. Okay, send it to me and I'll put discussion of that at our next meeting. Um, and if some of this stuff picks up, then we can talk about, well, we'll try. We'll make it. We're good. My husband's going to be here at 12.15, too. Yeah. And we'll, yeah. Yep. So everybody making, we can't deliberate, but everybody can make um, individual points or if you want to send something simply to the person who sent it, to, as long as it's not deliberation, or to, you know, that's totally okay. Just to sharpen things to make our discussion quicker, easier, more effective next meeting. Yes, we are, right here. So I make the motion to adjourn at 12.17. All those in favor? We're awesome. Way to go.